Hello everyone, this is Eric from Empire App Designs back with another video. And this video is addressing my previous video I have on in-app subscription uh, template that I offer. Um, it's a plug and play uh, template. Basically it's two files that you need to add into your project, but this you can take it directly out of this uh, template uh, when you purchase it. And I'm going to go a quick walk through based on you know the DMs and messages that I received on Twitter or Instagram. I want to make sure I address these on here. Um, that way you can get a better understanding on how to get everything set up. Uh, of course, the template is very straightforward. You can't miss it, but for those of you that are new, that don't want to pay someone to add in-app subscription to your application for features that you may have, uh, on this template here, it's just based on a banner that's in the application, so it's running Google Ad Mob um, in here. So let me show you real quick. You have a pod file that comes in a project showing it's running Google Ads. Um, you go into your view controller here. You can see here the banner request that's on there. Of course, this is my current uh, ad link or ID, but you can also, uh, when you purchase the template, create your Google Ad Mob account, or if you already have one, make sure you create one for your app and then add your own link in there, your own ID. Um, but to show you quickly on here, this is, these are the only two files you're going to have to mess with, um, or this is the only file you're going to have to mess with based on a name that you give your in-app subscription. So on here, here's a project that I have. It's my Creative Live Wallpapers Pro. It's coming to the, I, or excuse me, the iPad. Um, and then here, you're gonna see in-app purchases. And this is in iTunes Connect. So if you have your developer account, this is what you'll see. Um, then you're gonna go to Manage. And then Manage here, of course, you're gonna hit your plus button to create all these here. But just to show you your product ID, this is what is going to be needed in order for you to set it inside of your project. So this is what it's going to need. So you're going to put this in there. Um, then you're going to go over to your view controller. And in this section here, you're going to make all the necessary changes on the alert controller. It's going to pop up. And just to quickly show you what I'm talking about, this is my current app that I have in, I, in, excuse me, in the App Store. It's Creative Live Wallpapers for the iPhone platform. And I have it on here. You could try this out for three days for free. Um, this unlocks uh, premium content in the application. So if they decide to select it, it has it on here. As you can see, weekly is $4.99 um, to have those premium wallpapers. Or if they want a monthly subscription or quarterly subscription. Or you could even change the text on here, however style you want. Right now, it just has it as a default style. But of course, you know based on how you want your UI to look, you can make those changes. But in this area here is where you're basically gonna add this information that's on the application. Um, and that way, um, you know, you make it look however you want to. And it's just those two files. So basically you would update this to show this on the screen. And you would update this section here based on the information you put in here in in-app purchases. Um, once that's done, Basically, you would have control of that in your application. Your users would be able to unlock, you know, whatever you may have for features, uh, whether it's, um, you know, weekly, monthly, quarterly, yearly, however you set up your subscriptions in, in iTunes Connect. That's how you would go about doing it. And like I said, this is very straightforward. You can't mess this up. Even if you're a newbie, you really can't mess this up. Um, direct copy or even drag these files directly into your project you know copy and paste what you have here in the view controller into your project and like I said this is to remove ads it's just a banner it's hidden on this one but you can use it to unlock a button to you know show um, some new feature in your application or to unlock a feature in your application um, and you can use this for every project that you have if you have any questions, please email me at eric at empireappdesigns.com. Um, that link will be in the description below this video and also the purchase link for this template to be available. And this will also save you a lot of money. You know, for you guys that are normally trying to find someone, whether it be on Twitter, Reddit, to um, you know, figure out how to implement this in-app purchase or auto renewable. Um, subscription in, in, in the app store or into your applications you no longer have to guess it $50 you'll save yourself a lot of money uh, if you were to hire a developer 
you know they're gonna charge you anywhere from sixty to eighty dollars an hour um, so you're gonna be paying more and most likely if they have already implemented this in some of their projects or other clients they're basically just gonna overcharge you because they already have it so they're just gonna copy and paste it into your um, application and charge you eighty dollars hundred dollars whatever they claim it took them to implement it into your application so save yourself a headache save some money for fifty bucks this is straightforward you can't mess this up and if you do send me a message and I'll try to walk you through it if you run into any issues uh, you know implementing into your project again thank you for watching please click the link in the description uh, to purchase the template and this is developed in Swift 5 the latest um, iOS 13 if you have any questions regarding that thank you